Hi, my name is Erica Leon, and I'm a junior at Lincoln High. And this is an attempted kidnapping at the zoo. My hands must have been so tiny. Fidgety fingers, rosy nail beds, encased by my mother's soft grasp. My four-year-old legs struggling to keep up with her quick pace among the bustling swarm of people. Our palms damp and foreheads slick from the unrelenting sun, treading through hot soup. Infant whines blended with screeches and bellows of monkeys and filled the atmosphere with a thick noise, the sounds of the jungle. I was only vaguely aware of the stampede of people, elbowing and holding hands to not lose one another among the elephants and orangutans, how I wanted to lose myself and the elephants and orangutans. My priorities were innocent and unadulterated, nostalgic in their simplicity. How precious my perspective, how temporary my faith in humanity. In their den, the king and queen resided. He laid sprawled out, careless, panting, and occasionally flipping his mane, baring his large teeth like a threatening yawn. But I was infatuated with the lioness. Courage and strength resonated from her golden irises. Her majesty was more refined, alert. My breath was lost in her amber eyes, her gaze piercing through my own scanning for inevitable danger. A woman must always be on the lookout. She can't afford not to. I admired the wisdom in her stare. If only I knew that it would be gained in exchange for my blissful ignorance, a four-year-old girl must always be on the lookout. She can't afford not to. My mother, my lioness, only knew that something was wrong. My tiny hand clenched more tightly around hers. The herd of people never for a moment thinned, unaware of the predators it concealed. All the dangerous beasts were not, in fact, locked in cages. And I don't remember the horror, but there are remnants of it in the worry lines on my mother's forehead from when her eyes fell to the rigid fingers that gripped my other wrist, his claws, a clenched fist, a beast, dragging me into the bushes. I wonder how long he waited. Was this attempted thievery premeditated, prowling with his teeth bared, hands still clawing on my brain? I am too young to be a lioness. A split second and I'm stripped of the comfortable shroud that once covered my eyes by a man whose face I never even saw before he slid into the maze. Suddenly, it was not so simple. My mother routinely likes to tell me that as a baby, I would lie in my car seat and stare at our living room fish tank for hours without making a peep or drawing my eyes from tiny flapping fins and flamingo pink plastic coral, small and sweet and perfect. It's no wonder the aquarium was my favorite. I would let my mind wander in the endless blue marvel at the soft swaying of seagrass until I found myself envious of the jellyfish of all creatures. They floated aimlessly without a fear in the world as I watched my childhood drift away. Thank you. <laughs>